What happened? What happened to this program for a period of uh, 15, 16 years? Well, it's uh, hard for me to say. There was a period of time when I wasn't really closely connected with the university. I was busy making a living. <laughs> and I, uh, I used to go to the games, but I wasn't closely connected with what was going on. Uh, I think I became involved with the university really directly when, uh, uh, about the early, about 1970, when uh, Walt Kaczewski took over the Athletic Federation and he was trying to build a nucleus there for uh, fundraising support to support our program, so that's when I got involved. That's when the lean years started, really, though. What, what, what caused it to, g to go downhill? Well, we had a lot of changes uh, in personnel. I think that a lot of it had to do with the emphasis that the administration of the university put on football. Uh, they wanted a first-class program, but sometimes I don't know that they were willing to pay the price of a first-class program. A lot of coaching changes. Yeah. We had, we had quite a few of them, and, uh, and as they would come and go, uh, the uh, assistants would change. Uh, the it was just uh, just a turmoil year. Why were there so many turnovers in coaches? Do you think? It's hard to say. I don't. Uh, I don't think he, any one of them was successful. Uh, each one of the coaches, except for Carl Selmer, I think, uh, left on their own volition. I think that the beginning of it really was was uh, when Fran Kersey made the decision to leave the university. We were, I was very disappointed in that because he was one of our own boys. Uh, he, f he was disenchanted with, uh, with the University of Miami because he felt that he couldn't compete with the Miami Dolphins. And uh, the do he, he had taken a great University of Miami team up and played Notre Dame within a couple of points and came back and played to an empty stadium in the Orange Bowl. And uh, the Dolphins were in their, in their heyday at that time. So. I think that uh, that, that was uh, the, really the, uh, one of the turning points of the university when Fran Kersey left us, because he was our own boy. And when he left us, it was uh, it just like the bottom fell out. Did you ever worry during those years that they might shell football here? I had it in my mind that there was a possibility of it. Uh, there was, uh, at that time, uh, there was a sentiment regarding the uh, the financial burden that the uh, the whole program had, and uh, those people on the board of trustees that had the foresight to realize that uh, a sex successful athletic program would mean uh, uh, a lot of uh, exposure for the University of Miami as far as recruiting of students and uh, the the overall. Uh, athletic program not only for the uni uh, not only not the athletic program but the overall program for the university would benefit by a successful athletic program so i th i I've, i was afraid that it might but i think there were enough people on the board at that time to to see that uh, we needed a successful program we know how much tradition means to a program uh, you walk through the nebraska uh, walk through the Nebraska uh, athletic office and you see trophies and pictures and what an interesting story that at one point I guess during those lean years they were going to throw out. Well you know? they did. They threw out a lot of our mementos. I think a lot of the uh, game film, uh, you know each coaching staff that came through there had their own ideas and their own way of doing things and uh, there was a lot of house cleaning that went on at the university and a lot of our tradition was discarded. Why? Because they felt that the, a lot of people coming in feel that, um, you know, a new broom sweeps clean and there's uh, the right way, the wrong way, and their way. You saved a lot of it. Yes, we did. There's a lot of it around the house there. Tell me how you went about saving it. Well, there's a lot of it we saw in the trash pile. I remember one time um, there was a beautiful football that was carved out of stone that was given to the University of Miami by Joe Shaw. And... Uh, it was at the uh, center of the parking uh, area when you drive in in a circular drive, and I saw that on the trash pile. And I sent a truck by to pick it up rather than see it thrown away, and I called Joe one day to see if he thought he would like to have it back, and he said, sure. So Joe, I think, came back and picked it up. Anything else like that? Well, there was the old, uh, the old canoe. Everybody's been looking for that canoe for many a years. You have it? Yeah. Where is it? It's right out in the pool. 
<laughs> that must have made you a little upset at the time. Yes, it did. We hated to see all that tradition go. But uh, we, we've, we managed to say, uh, salvage a lot of it. I remember uh, at one time uh, the um, 1927 IBIS, uh, the first uh, yearbook that the University of Miami had was on the trash pile. I don't know how many copies, uh, copies of it are still in existence, but I managed to pick up one, and it had the whole rendering of our stadium, our, our campus stadium on it. Now, I gave it to Coach Schnellenberger so that he could uh, uh, see that, uh, that it was in the minds of the university to have a campus stadium back in 1927. You mentioned Coach Schnellenberger. Mm -hmm. What has he been able to do that no other coach has been able to do? Well, he's, uh, he's been able to unify the whole... Uh, well, Make a sound. Did that sound assertive? Yes. What, uh, what's, what's Howard been able to do that no other coach has been able to do? Well, it's, uh, for one, he's been able to win, but uh, besides that, it, it goes beyond that at the university. I think uh, besides winning, he's been able to um, draw the attention of uh, a lot of the old timers of the university. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's given a feeling of confidence, I think, uh, to our whole athletic program, and uh, he's, um, I, I don't, I, it's just hard to put your finger on, 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 on one particular item, but he's, he's instilled confidence in all of us that he can get the job done, and he's got the ability and the fortitude to, uh, to stand up to those people that, uh, that uh, might want to uh, undermine our athletic program. Who, who would they be? <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's a lot of people at the university that, uh, that we've had uh, down through the years that have tried for one reason or another, don't feel that athletics are uh, the most important thing at the university. Or it's, it, I can't put my finger on it, but, uh, but we have, uh, we've had to fight a battle through the years to, to maintain our athletic program at the university because of the limited funds that we have available. But I think that what, uh, but what Howard's been able to do was to, uh, to um, bring the whole thing together. How has he inspired the supporters? Mm. You know, how has he I, been able to get people who other, you know, how has he been able to get these people to rally behind the University of Miami football program? Well, I think the people have always been there to rally behind the University of Miami football program. I don't, I think that uh, in the last few years since we've been winning a lot, we've got a lot more people out there. But I, but I can remember the lean years, the people that are here now, they're, they're the same faces, they're the same people that supported our program all the way through. We have a lot of people that, uh, that are there today that are supporting us that weren't there back in those 70s. That, uh, but for the most part, uh, I think it's still the same people, the ones that are we know it. We know what he's done, football-wise. We've talked to the coaches, and they, they've talked about organization. They've talked about knowledge of the game. But from the fan standpoint, what has Howard been able to do for this program? That's been able, besides winning. That's what is it about Howard that he seems to attract these people to help support? Well, I can't answer that question really. I, I, I think that. Uh, that Howard has, has been an influence on, on, on our winning, but I think that, uh, that there's been a lot of work that went into this whole program before Howard got here. And uh, I think that uh, it couldn't have all happened without the catalyst of someone that had the ability to coach well, because we had talent here at the University of Miami when, when, uh, when Howard came. Uh, Lou Saban, I thought, did a great job of recruiting, but, but as you well know, uh, it takes a good coach no matter what kind of talent you have to win. And Howard was able to do that. Uh, uh, I look at uh, Notre Dame, for instance. I think Notre Dame has the greatest talent that probably any school has, but they haven't been able to win as consistently as we've been able to. I think that the coaching has a lot to do with that. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, we had the program, I think the program had started to turn around before Howard got here. And I think that he had the ability to be able to take it from there and go with it. 
keep going, we're still going. Uh, finally, the 50th Orange Bowl. What does this Orange Bowl mean to the University of Miami, first of all? Second of all, what does Miami being in the Orange Bowl mean to the community? Well, the uh, Miami, for the University of Miami, of course, financially being in the Orange Bowl game is a great boost for our athletic program and for the University of Miami as a whole. I think the proceeds are about a million eight in going to the Orange Bowl game, which will benefit not only the athletic department, but the entire university. Uh, as far as the city of Miami is concerned, I think that the exposure that we're going to get from the media and uh, to show that this town isn't as, all as bad as uh, everyone's been led to believe that, uh, that we're a pretty good, wholesome city and, uh, and the sun shines down here, I think, that, that, uh, uh, and that we've got a, a football team that was capable of playing in the Orange Bowl game. I think all of these things are positive for the whole community, and I think that that's one of the things that I that I like about what Howard has done. I, I think he's supported not only the University of Miami, but our whole community, and uh, through, uh, uh, through various organizations. Is there a sense of satisfaction? In the oh, people? yes, sure. Everyone, I think, feels that way.